Hello everyone, what's up? It's me, Micah, and welcome to a brand new fashion video. If you guys are new to my channel, hello, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. To be honest, I have been itching to make fashion videos, but I just thought that it wouldn't be that relevant since all of us are locked up at home and we're not really able to go out there and dress up. But then I realized that now is actually the perfect time Time to watch fashion videos, learn from fashion videos, and at the same time look through our closets and kind of just reinvent our sense of fashion. Today's video is unlike the other videos that I make. I do get a lot of questions asking me how to look more elegant. That is why I decided to do this video. A big disclaimer though, I am not a fashion expert, nor am I claiming to be a fashion expert. My opinion will be solely based on my sense of style and how I express my creativity creativity through how I dress up. Also based on the many hours I spend on Pinterest. <laughs> and I'm not gonna forget lippy of the day. Surprisingly, I am wearing a lip liner under my lipstick and this is a combo from just one brand. I rarely do that since I like mixing up different brands. I'm gonna let it pop up on the screen but this is from the brand MAC and I'll just Link that down below as well for you guys. Not gonna keep you guys too long. Let's get started with the video. The first tip I have for you on how to look classy is actually for free and it is about having confidence. You've heard this many times, but I'll say it again. It is not about what you wear. It's honestly all about the person that wears the clothes that makes it look 10 times nicer. A power suit will only be a suit if the person wearing it does not radiate. And I'm not saying that you wear your chest high and look down at everybody that passes you by my dear that is arrogance and we're not about that the confidence that i'm talking about is found in knowing who you are your style and knowing how to wear your clothes well no matter how different it may be for majority the next tip i have for you guys is that basics are classics the thing about basics is that they never go out of style and i've said that in many of my fashion videos basics are pieces that anyone will have in their closets forever. Hence the reason why I think that basics are classics. You can throw on a classic pair of jeans with a plain white tee and 10 years from now, it is still not out of style. For me, the key to looking classy is dressing up in timeless pieces from head to toe. And the cherry on top of that is that basics are usually so much cheaper compared to the other clothes that are being sold in different stores. If you want good quality, and affordable basics i usually get mine from forever 21 or from cotton on but trust me when i tell you that you can find so many inexpensive and quality basics even from just the department store whether it be sm landmark metro there are a lot all you have to do is really look and dig for that gem that you are looking for next tip choose plain and monochromatic pieces i noticed that clothes Clothes that have big and bold statements on them tend to look more trendy and casual. Personally for me, even if it says a big loud Gucci on your shirt, it will still tend to look again more trendy than classy. While there's absolutely nothing wrong with wearing clothes as such, for the sake of the theme of the video, I do want to recommend clothing pieces that will still be in even after the trends have come and gone. This is not only for the purpose of looking chic, but of course for the purpose of practicality as well. Anyway, going back, plain and monochromatic clothing just tend to give off a more sophisticated vibe, which is what we are going for in the first place because I do believe that classy or classic is equivalent to being sophisticated. The best way to get your hands on pieces as such for cheap is really by looking at different thrift stores. Now I know that that is not possible right now but when everything is settled down and we are sure that this virus has officially left the country for good then we can start going back to thrift stores. I remember I got this basic shirt from way way back that I still have until now for only 10 pesos. Now I don't know if thrift stores still sell at that low of a price but I remember the last time I went to a thrift store there were shirts going for 50 pesos 25 pesos 
ASOS. Might have bought 25. Maybe I think like 50 and above. So you can still definitely find pieces that are quality, but at the same time super cheap from thrift stores compared to buying from the mall or online. When it comes to how I dress, I personally like to limit my color scheme to about two to three colors, one of which is an accent color. That's why I don't want you guys to be afraid to add an accent color to your outfit. It's nice to include a pop of shade to a rather monochromatic outfit. It shows more character and personality and a fun side to your style without really sacrificing its elegance. Overall, adding an accent color just gives more oomph to your outfit. And I also don't want you guys to be afraid of adding different textures and patterns to your outfit. In fact, you can draw the color scheme of your entire outfit just based on that one pattern piece. What I love about different patterns or textures in one outfit is that it just shows that you can also be open with your style. Guys, please forgive me. I am sweating a little bit, getting oily a little bit. It's getting really, really hot in my room. <laughs> Anyways, the next tip that I have for you guys is to accessorize. I find that the simplest outfits can look so much more posh and classy with just a few touches of jewelry. For example, here is what I look like when wearing just plain clothes. And here is what I look like after I add some jewelry. the beauty in the little details. It's a very small transformation, but you can see how evidently a basic outfit turned into a sharp and fashionable one. For jewelry, I know that so many of you guys have been asking me to do a jewelry collection video. I am just thinking on how I will tackle that, but that will definitely come soon. I'll link down below some jewelry pieces that are similar to the ones that I have. These are most of the time below 200 pesos that you can find in Lazada or Shopee so you don't have to be intimidated by its value. I think that's the thing about people when they think of jewelry they think it's so expensive and that it's out of their reach it's gonna put a hole in their pockets but not necessarily you can opt for stainless steel items instead of gold and silver. Another tip is the overall effort. Putting light makeup on it doesn't have to be like cakey foundation but it could be like simple blush on your cheek cheeks, mascara on your lashes, and maybe tint on your lips, and styling your hair a little bit. You don't have to be like super kulot naman, or like bagsak na bagsak na straight. You can either just brush it well to get rid of the frizz or tie it up to look more neat. All of this adds to the look of the fit, and it just ties everything together to make you look more put together. Now, I'll end with this. I don't really know if you guys clicked on this video so that you will look more classy or presentable in front of other people but I do just want to remind you that by the end of the day no matter how fancy your clothes are or how high-end your wardrobe is being classy starts with your attitude having class is a behavior first before anything I mean kindness is classy being polite and poised is classy graciousness is classy confidence and determination is classy class has less to do with the clothes but more to do with with the character of the person. Earlier, I reminded you guys about an overused fashion coat. So I'll tell you the rest, but I'll add a little bit of a twist to it. It's not about what you wear or how you wear it. It's about who you are. I hope that this video not only encourages you to dress nicely or look classy on the outside, but let your classiness, elegance, and poise from within be brought out on what you look like physically. So that is it for my simple tips on how you can look classy. I hope you learned a thing or two from this video. If you did, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to get notified every time I post a new video, leaving you with love, faith, and hope. For today, you watched me, Michael Luis, and I cannot wait to see you again. Bye, everyone.